All right, so we got the master sword and we're gonna be killing everybody with this thing Not only that, but we have the ability to transform into a wolf whenever we wish and uh, We can then use that ability to warp anywhere that we want to go immediately anywhere It's awesome anywhere that we fought the shadow beast. So I'm pretty excited about this All right, I'm hearing a bug. I don't see a bug. Where is it? There it is. It's a snail You're mine now snail you're my snail bitch. My snitch? Oh my god, it's a golden snitch. Alright, let's teleport out and then go to the um, place. Let's go to Telma's. Alright, transform into a human before we go into town, of course. I think there's also some games that we can play and try to win things like bigger wallets and uh, bigger quivers and stuff like that. Also, more bomb bags, you guys. We can, we can finally get down there and do the rest of the bomb bag missions. Greetings, Mr. Asshole, as a matter of town. What a weirdo. Just give it, just give me the fucking letter. Just run away. They came so quickly. Asshole, there are some folks I want you to meet. So come to my bar right away. Alright. Yeah, I mean, it was right for us to go to Talmas, but you know what? Let's play some games first if we can, because, like, priorities, right? You gotta be happy in order to go on the mission, because if you're just grumpy, you're probably gonna get killed. Hello, sir! If you would, ho! Oh. 50 more rubies. Here we go. This is it right here. Greetings and salutations, good sir. Welcome to the kingdom of hopes and fondest dreams. In this place, you can taste the life of a circus star and get your hands on gear that boggles minds. It is our earnest hope that you will find delight playing the star game. The rules are exceedingly simple. So, all you must endeavor to do is track down all the glowing orbs and collect them all before time runs out. <laughs> Rather outstanding name, I must say. Step right up, shyness be gone. It's only 10 rupees. Call now and we'll throw in another- Wait, no, that's that's not the same commercial. Who's up for the challenge? I'll do it. Let's do it. Many thanks, good sir. The game will begin once you enter the cage. May chance favor you. <laughs> good sir. Are you at the ready? Then away we go. All right, let's do it. We got a claw shot around and collect the orbs. Gotta collect those orbs, though. At some point, we're gonna need uh, a little extra. But right now, we are able to play the orb game and uh, succeed, so let's do that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I think you have to like just go like from one platform and then across to collect most of them. Like that. And I know there's one that needs a jump, like this one. And then there's one up here. I don't think he expected me to have a claw shot, honestly. Boom city! Impossible! Uh, what a happy day this is, the debut of a new star. Showers of applause all around. To the star I shall give this. Ha! Oh, big quiver, 60 arrows. That's actually gonna be like huge for us. Very well, the next stage will be one created just for you, good sir. I would expire should you decline. Please, you must try it when it's ready. <sighs> I should remember this, you fucking dick. All right, we win. Games have been played, but maybe we should try to check out and see if we can get bomb bags. Eek, it's him! Oh my god, I'm a teenager! Hey ladies, wanna fuck? Yeah, it's him! Ah. Uh, ma'am, you just shout out some red poop? I'll, I'll collect it though. I'll keep it in a special jar. My puppy. This is my doggy. It's mine now. Ah, uh, that's right, the bird girl. Or not the bird, the bug girl. There's a bug girl that collects all the bugs that we've been getting, the golden bugs, the golden snitch. Her name is Harry Potter. And she collects all the golden snitches. Oh boy, I thought you were a grasshopper. <laughs> but you're not a, you're, you're not a bug. You're a person still wearing those clothes. Oh yeah. All right, so Agatha, Agatha's castle. Harry Potter likes to go by Agatha. He's a cross-dresser and you probably knew this already. Have you brought a bug? Oh my God. She sounds like she's just like tripping on crack or something. Here's a beetle for you, my lady. Oh, 
lot to be to learn. So every single time, oh my god, she gave me the big wallet right away. Awesome. So every single time I bring her a bug, uh, she will give me, I think, 50 roops. And then if I give her, like, the, the male-female equivalent, both of them, she gives me, like, 100, I think. Something like that. 50 rupees. Which is actually pretty big, and now that we have the ability to carry a thousand rupees, yeah. We're living large, my friends. Oh boy, who's your friend? You're a little snail, aren't you, little cutie? Little snail, little snail, just once I'd like to take a bath in that slime. <laughs> what kind of hentai tentacle porn bullshit is this? I'm out! Run away! No! Did you b bring me my crack? I mean, hi! Oh my god, you have a bug? Yeah! Alright, I do know there's a bug out here as well, but there's the sword dude who's gonna teach us another sword technique. This is what sword technique is. That's my best sword technique right there. Learned it from the masters. Alright, oh, it's right here. I found that. It's the first female bug, ladybug. There's another one out here somewhere, I think, just flying around. Maybe we could find that too. There's the wolf over there to gives a, that gives us our, our special power. But let's take a quick look to see if we can't find another ladybug and be done with it. I think it, maybe it's over here. I can hear it. I can hear it jingling. I can hear it jingling. Uh, but I also want to kill these crows. So maybe, can we do that with a hook shot? Oh my god, that's going to save me so much fucking ammo. That is amazing. Plus, it gives me arrows in case I was ever using arrows. Okay, I'm hearing some jingling. There it is. There it is. I found it. All right, birds, you need to fuck off for a second. Adults are playing the game. Where'd it go? There it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Got it. Oh my god. We are done with the ladybug already. That's going to be another 150 roops in the fucking bank, man. I'm going to start donating all of my stuff to that old man because he gives you a heart piece. And then if you donate it to the kid who had the shop in Kakariko, I do believe that he moves his shop to the city. I do think that the last thing that we learned was the back slice, which is one of my personal favorites. We meet again. This next is the greatest of the hidden skills I have taught you to this point. Do you still wish to master it? Uh, yeah, I do. I must test it to ensure you've mastered the last skill I taught you, the back slice. Um, I showed you that I mastered the back slice when we, you know, last met, but sure, okay. Up, oh, but. You forgot to thrust with your hips that time. The helm splitter. Oh, this is a good one, too. This is a good one. Not my favorite, but like my second favorite. Not his favorite. All right. Shield attack and you do a front flip. You would never be able to do a front flip without that armor on. There's no way. I mean, Link, he doesn't have that much armor on, but you can see he's got chain link on. Ha, <laughs> chain link. Get it? Uh, and that, that, like, I don't know if you've ever seen how or felt how heavy chain link armor is, but it's insane. I would actually love to get some chain link armor, like even if it's fake chain link armor, probably would be fake uh, to wear while I'm recording because I've got the shirt, I've got oh, the white undershirt, but it's just kind of uncomfortable. It's not very, it's not like cotton, it's like some itchy bullshit. But having some chain link armor would be so badass. Also having like legit leather uh, arm guards instead of like these, I mean, these are like the faux leather, you know? I think that'd be so badass. I'm sure that there are people out there, I know that there are people out there that make like super legit Link costumes, but I don't have the budget for that, honestly. So if you want to spend $400 and then send it to me on my P.O. box, that'd be great. All right, so Telma wanted me to come to her bar. Actually, should we get the money first? I think Agatha was out and about. I don't think she's gonna be in her house. So let's maybe talk to Telma first. She was gonna introduce me to some people that uh, are gonna help me figure out what to do. So let's do that first. Oh, if it isn't a hassle. You made it. How you been, honey? Mercy, but you have good timing. I was just talking about you. Hey, hey everyone, introduce yourselves. This handsome young man is the infamous asshole. You remember what I told you before, honey? These are those friends I mentioned, the ones that are trying to help deal with all the troubles in Hyrule. Actually, there's one more of us, but there's been a disturbing turn of events in the Eastern Desert. All right, cool. Let's do it. Let's talk to them. Hey. Uh, hello there. You must be asshole, correct? I'm Shad. Wonderful to meet you. Tell me, told me all about what you've been up to. You're rather formidable. 
I'm rather not, I'm afraid. Well, I'm formidable at book reading, but I lack, shall we say, physical skills. That said, if the history and legends of Hyrule are your cup of tea, I'm your fella. If you're just curious, ask away. Alright. Oh, hello, da. It's a she. I grew up in the mountains with my father, who was a knight in his own right. He taught me the arts of war, as long as I was his son. Those course lessons in the common courtesy were not a part of the regiment, so forgive me if I come off as rude, yeah? Listen, before I blab both of your ears off, I want to tell you something. Snow Peak is the mountain to the north of Hyrule. It's unlike any mountain I've ever known. I don't know much yet, but things happen there that happen on no other mountain that I know of. Evil controls it. As soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Cool. Who's this guy? Nice bucket. Is it Buckethead? Oh my gosh, Buckethead. It has been a long time. As holy son, my wife Uli sent word to me. I have seen the children in Kakariko village. And of course, I have also heard of your adventures. I must thank you for your help with the Colin Hustle. I barely recognized him. In any case, I am troubled by my own inaction. I want to help the cause. These friends here, I have had a connection with them for a long while. Like the others, I am gathering information now while wearing this bucket on my head. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, what, what, like, what are we supposed to be doing here? Let's look at the map. I think it's going to show me where the desert is. That old Kajar Aru is at Lake Hilia, studying the desert. All right, cool. Let's go there then. Okay, so what are these, uh, what are these symbols here? These time symbols. What does that mean? Is that like a, some sort of waypoint or something? We'll just have to walk up to one and see what it does. Maybe it's just like people that we can talk to, but I don't know why it would be a clock then. Oh, hello, kitty. Meow. Shut up. It almost just seems like it's marking every single door that we can possibly go in. But once again, why use a clock? Wow, very nice tomato.jpg. Holy shit, 50 more fucking rupees. You're crazy, you son of a shit. Get out of here. All right, let's try this wolf button. Oh my god, it's amazing. That saves me so much time having to talk to Midna, that little shit. I'm so pumped about this button. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Before we go anywhere, let's see about extra bomb bags. I would really, 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 really like to have that before we go into another dungeon. I know there's one up here in Zora's Domain. Just got to go down there and swim. Hello, ladies. Nice. Would you guys do a Zora? Tell me honestly. Would you? You would? I wonder if they're like, like actually feel like fish, you know, like with like scales and like they're like super slimy. That does it for you? That's even better? Oh, well, pfft. wouldn't that be so cool to be like so rich that you make your own diving cave like this and you can fill it with like some cool like algae and like reef stuff. But like if it got gross and nasty, like that wouldn't be a good thing. You'd have to have flowing water. So you'd have to probably spend like you know, seven million dollars a year on electricity costs for all the pumps for the water, but, st but still, that's what I'm saying. You gotta be rich in order to do, to do this, but... When you look at that rock, don't you sense something strange? Like, I don't know, like it's looking at you or something. Well, does the rock have eyes? Well, the rock does have eyes. That's probably why you think it's looking. I just saw it blink. That rock over there that's looking at me, it's almost like it's looking at me. Like, I know it is looking at me, but it's almost like it is like, like looking at me, you know what I mean? You crazy shit. It's moving too! Of course you feel something strange. What a dum dum. Alright, let's see if we can set this here. Present for rock. Blammo. Uh, hello? Oh, brother! I am finally out. Thank you, brother. I took a nap and found myself swallowed up in lava and somehow fiery far away from home. Say, brother, do not swim off. I have not had a chance to thank you yet. Well then thank me. Hey brother, I've not had a chance to thank you yet. Don't sum up. Oh, um, yeah, hi. Maybe I need to stand on the ground. He'll take this with my thanks, brother. This is all I have on me right now. I hope it'll do. <laughs> we got the second bomb bag. That's amazing. I think we can even get an upgraded bomb bag. I think we can get something that upgrades all of our bomb bags. I, am, I, am I correct in thinking that? That like, it bumps it from 30 up to, to 60? I think somewhere there's some sort of bomb upgrade. All right, now we can do the river game, maybe. If they allow me to do the river game, we'll do the river game for the other bomb bag. And it'll be very exciting, we'll be very happy about it. It's so worth it, you guys, to get all the upgrades whenever you possibly can and then bringing that into the next dungeon so you have so many more bombs 
so many more arrows, so much more room to fit all of those chests that only contain rupees instead of having to put them back, because then you can bring all those rupees back, donate it to the people that need it, you know, like upgrade the shops and all that stuff that you can do with the money, buy everything that you need to have. It's like get the upgrades as soon as you possibly can. Oh, there's a pole soul up there. I saw that. No, 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 no. I don't want to go down there. I don't want to go down there. Let's uh, let's not get effed over here. And a bug. I don't think I've gotten that bug yet. So let's try to get that bug first. Then the pole soul. Very excite. Very excite. Female dragonfly. That's what I'm talking about. I gotta jump over there. I don't know if I can swim fast enough up current to get to that side without getting sucked under. Let's try at least. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, just barely. Now I can push this button, turn into a wolf, get the postal. Very nice. Oh, get wrecked. So you don't sit on the side of a hill. All right, let's see if we can do the river thing. Hmm, a customer, sorry, but we're temporarily closed. Uh-oh, girl, what? I said we're closed, now scram. No. What a jerk. Let's go in there anyways. It's locked. Well, what the hell, I was gonna help you out. Oh my God, what? So she doesn't want my help, and now all of a sudden I'm getting attacked. But then, okay, so the good part about this is we'll be able to teleport here. And we could switch into a wolf form to attack him. Might even be easier than uh, trying to use our sword. Ah, oh no! I can't? Okay, so it's not gonna allow me. I'll just walk around and poke him in the butt a few times. You like that? That's gotta hurt. Ow! Ooh! Right in the booty. Right in the booty. Smack that ass, girl. Go on, show me what you're working with. That twerp game, though. Oh my god, that took so much to kill him. Whoa, that scared me. Who are you? How can you keep your cool while fighting monsters like that? Oh, wow, you. What a champ you are. <laughs> That's what the ladies say. Well, what are we standing around jawing for? Come on inside. Jawing? Got something for your jaw. Golly. Talk about scary. I thought I was done for. Things have been getting pretty crazy around here, let me tell you, but thanks for earlier. My name's Iza, I rent boats here. Well, I used to rent boats here. Then we had a rock fall and it dammed up the river. Yeah, I could sure use a helpful guy around at times like this. Yep, a handy guy who would sure be a big help around here. Uh, yeah. Really? Oh my god. You're a lifesaver. Do something about that rock? Uh, yeah, I can do something about that rock, actually. All right. Let's do it. Uh, am I pretty sure I can just do this, right? Pow. Another one, and another one. Done. Yes. That was super easy. Yeah, you did it. Well, my gal tells me there are still some rocks blocking the way down the river, so you should take care of those too. Here's the boat, hop in. Excellent. Now, it's a teensy bit dangerous down river of here, so don't leave the boat, okay? One of the part-timers is waiting down there so you can get the details from her. And when you're done, you can keep that bomb bag and everything in it as a token of my appreciation. Bye. So be seeing ya. All right, let's do it. Thanks, lady. So we gotta block, we gotta unblock this river as we're going down. How do I access its R? That's a little awkward, not gonna lie. But uh, I have infinite number of bomb arrows, so that's always a positive, right? Can I shoot that part? Yeah, I can. Okay. So I don't know if I even want to go forward. I think I just want to steer left and right here. Maybe. Am I supposed to get all of these blockages out? So I'm, I'm assuming that there's gonna be like some rocks up ahead. So I'm gonna get them anyways if I can. Cause I'm a good dude like that, you know? All right, you need to like work on your steering here like Asshole. Asshole, Sunday. Oh my god. Woo! This would be so much fun to do in real life. Of course, you'd probably die. Uh, is this the partner? That's her. Ah, you've come at the request of the shop owner, haven't you? Well, I'm in her employ part time for now. I'm sorry we've troubled you so. Alright. 
I can uh, unblock the river. No problem. Piece of cake. I wish I had unlimited bomb arrows. Like think of, like think about the game via unlimited bomb arrows all the time. I would just sit there and just rock everybody's vagina. All right, let's just follow this lady. This pretty little lady. She's dropping roops for me. Wow. What am I, a hooker? She trying to purchase me? Ah, oh, it's working. Who am I kidding? All right, this thing is like crazy hard to steer. I'm missing all the blue ones. I'm missing all the blue. Oh, hi. Yep. Hello. Excuse me. Sorry. Pardon me, sir. Par pardon me. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here by steering this thing. It's, it's not responsive. It's non-responsive. All right, we made it to the end. And now here we are on Lake Hylia. Perfect. Good job out there. <laughs> Thanks. You have truly done us a great service. Now the shop can finally reopen. When we were closed, my boss's temper only got worse and worse. It was a rough time for us all. Uh. Oh, and another thing. I don't suppose you she promised you anything special for doing this, did she? Just the bomb bag, right? Yeah, she tends to bribe people with whatever's lying around. So stingy, really. It's all right. I'll let her know that you kept it when I get back. Sick. Oh, my God. Two extra bomb bags.